I'm Carl Anthony and welcome to In Cabin, the groundbreaking new event and community from Sense Media, the creators of AutoSense. In Cabin supports the knowledge and connections for automotive in cabin technology specialists across the globe. Joining us today is Samir Shah and Martin Lass from Infinion Technologies. Welcome, gentlemen. Both so glad to have you here. Thank you. Um, let me start by introducing myself. So, uh, thank you very much, Martin. So, basically, I'm Samir Shah. I'm product marketing manager for 60 gigahertz radar at Infineon Technologies and my rep and my application focus is in cabin sensing. And I'm looking forward to see you all at, at the in cabin event in Brussels. Yeah, and uh, let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Martin Lass and I'm the product marketing manager for time of flight images at Infineon also focusing on automotive applications. And again, thank you both for being with us today. And for our viewers who may not be familiar with Infineon, uh, can you provide an overview of the company and then ultimately tell us uh, why you're part of the InCabin community today? Sure. So Infineon is a leading semiconductor supplier with uh, more than 50,000 employees worldwide. Um, Besides having products for more or less every kind of industry, Infineon offers a unique sensing portfolio for automotive in cabin applications like silicon microphones, environmental sensors, 3D time of flight imagers and 60 gigahertz radar. And yeah, that's the reason why we are attending in cabin and we are looking forward to meeting you at uh, the event in Brussels and yeah, we're having a booth there with the latest demos. Yeah, and again, uh, Martin and Samir, very excited to meet you uh, in Brussels as well, in, in person. Uh, Martin, you mentioned time of flight. Uh, can you go into a little more detail about that for our viewers? Yes, so time of flight is a camera-based technology. Um, and you always need active infrared light to illuminate the scenery and the outcome is that you get the most powerful data of your surrounding. You get the exact distance information in every pixel and simultaneously a 2D grayscale information. So on top of the distance information, you have the 2D information. You can also visualize this data in a 3D point cloud, like in the below picture. And this information, so the distance information in every pixel makes also a big difference compared to standard 2D imaging. So for some unique use cases, um, like on the right side, there are some examples from software partners using our TOF data. So you can use the 3D data for a spoofing robust face ID. So you can't easily spoof your system by holding a picture in front of your camera. And at the same time, you can use the data for driver monitoring tasks or having an exact, exact 3D body model. So where you can track the body movements and the exact position of the passenger. These uh, 3D body models that we're seeing that you're talking about right now, let's go just a little bit deeper uh, what is so unique about it? And then ultimately, what kind of use cases can be done with it? Yeah, so let's have a look into that. So we at Infineon believe that with the 3D data, you really can enable on the one hand side, the real connected car with new services. Because using secure face authentication enable a seamless transfer of private data and services, which are using on your mobile phone, at your smart TV, your smart watch. So why not using it in a smart car as well? So for also having payment services or a seamless battery charging process. So all this can be done with a biometric authentication in a secure way, um, which is required to enable this. And at the same time with the same camera, you also can do the driver monitoring functionality required to meet regulations and NCAP requirements. So very efficient based on the 3D data. And 
Furthermore, the, if you go to the more occupant monitoring, you can do really nice passive safety functionality. In special, if you think about the interior of the future, um, where you are able to change your seat position while driving autonomously. Of course, you want your airbag and your restraint system to keep you safe. So 3D data provides you the exact position of the driver to enable smart airbags. And last but not least, the same data again can be used for an intuitive HMI. So using it for gestures or other comfort features. Martin, what are some of your customers' biggest challenges right now? Let's talk about that for a minute. So let's, your customers, what are their biggest challenges? And then ultimately, how are you helping them overcome those challenges? Yeah. So if you talk about a camera-based um, system, the key challenge is where to place the camera, what kind of field of view to be used, and by that, the question comes down to resolution versus cost. Um, so to, to help our customers here, we, we made a tremendous step forward for time of flight. Um, we, we are launching right now our latest automotive crate imager offering a VGA system resolution at a very tiny four millimeter image circle, which enables a lens size like used in mobile phones. So that's a great step forward here. If you talk about challenges for in-cabin sensing at all, I would say it's more about choosing the right technology for the dedicated use case requirements you, you want to fulfill. And here in Finian, um, yeah, it's very flexible because of camera-based TOF technology. We have another complementary technology um, in our product portfolio. It's 60 gigahertz radar with a lot of other benefits. So we'll turn things over to Samir now uh, to, to learn more about that. So Samir, can you tell us a little bit about a radar as an in-cabin technology? Give us your perspective there. Yep, thank you very much. So exactly as Martin was saying, um, Infineon has uh, complementary technologies, right? So starting from the camera-based TOF sensors, we go into let's occupant monitoring. And here, in order to have the right offering for the customer, we also have 60 gigahertz radar in our portfolio. What together with our partner Novelec, what we have achieved is that we are we are going towards uh, our single sensor. So one sensor enables all features, kind of an approach. And there we use uh, just one radar 60 gigahertz sensor to achieve four major applications. On the on the slide, you also see the the first application as CPD or child presence detection. And this is the main um, application, which what we are targeting with 60 gigahertz radar, because this is based on legislation from FCC and Euro NCAP. And therefore, uh, for in order for the car makers to achieve a full five star NCAP rating, they would need to from 2025 onwards have CPD or child presence detection installed in the car. And this is where 60 gigahertz plays a key role because here we have a very, very small sensor. It's uh, eight by eight millimeter. And uh, this is uh, put on the roof of your car in the center of the roof or in the front towards the front side and you can achieve the CPD functionality in the whole five-seater in, in, inside the cabin. On top of that, <clears throat> to make the solution even more, um, let's say, cost-effective and, and feature-packed uh, uh, for the tier ones and the OEMs, we have developed on top uh, some other three features, which are uh, SOD, which is the seat occupancy detection, where we then also provide localization um, of the passenger which is sitting in inside the car. So you have five seats, so you can localize where your um, uh, passenger is and you can use this information or the tier ones can use this information to develop or improve the seatbelt reminder systems. On top of that, we have also using exactly the same radar sensor, we have uh, enabled the intrusion alert, the so-called, and this was be if once this is enabled, you have the information from the sensor which the tier one can use to develop such an uh, such a, such an application. Where if you 
try to steal or put your hand into the car and try to grab your phone from the seat, for example, it, you, will, you will get an alert on your mobile phone or the car will start to flash or honk or something like this. So this is then for the security of your in-cabin, uh, uh, whatever is inside your car, uh, this enable is uh, very, very important as a comfort feature, right? And lastly, but not the least, we have the proximity alert feature, which is basically uh, monitoring nearby surroundings of your car. And this is then uh, enabled, for example, if your car is locked and parked outside and you want to have a security feature enabled, uh, trying to, you know, to keep an eye on the car, if someone tries to break into it or, or is shaking it or trying to do something, then you have this alert that is, uh, that is generated. Uh, onto your mobile phone or something like this. So all of these four features is uh, what is enabled by our 60 gigahertz radar together with our partner Novelec. And uh, this is all done by one sensor, which is the, the most cool part. Yeah, a, a four-in-one solution, as you mentioned. And so Samir, uh, with all of that in mind, where do you see the industry going, say, in the next five years? What's next? What do you envision? Where are we headed from your perspective? Yeah, so basically where we see the industry heading is towards a kind of a central fusion environment, right? So for inside the car, for in Caden, we see that the 2D, 3D cameras, uh, top base cameras and the radar will come closely together. So they are very complementary technology, right? So we, all, we intend or we see that the market is going towards offering a full range of, of, uh, of use cases. For example, what Martin last, my colleagues were saying of, about the empty spoofing and this kind of technology technologies which would be based of course on the top radar on, on but on the other hand when you're looking at more on the occupant monitoring for the child presence detection this would be then more served by the 60 gigahertz radar and this is more going towards a sense of fusion kind of a, a market and the car makers would want to have more and more let's say comfort features but also provide on top uh, safety features um, and fulfilling all the NCAP rating requirements uh, you know, in order for you to achieve the five-star safety rating for, uh, rating for your car. And this is what we believe in Infineon, uh, that this is where the industry is moving towards. So that's a look going forward. Um, let's go back. Let's rewind a little bit. Uh, what is the? What are some of the most important milestones that Infineon has achieved over the last year? Yeah, let's take this from time of flight point of view first. Um, so, of course, the the biggest achievement on our side was that we have reached already mass production stage with our latest um, um, imager. And in special, we are very proud of it because it's the first of its kind being developed according to the ISO 26262 standard. So enabling exactly the functional safety use cases mentioned before. Um, yeah, that was um, really the, the greatest achievement now um, from the time of flight side. Yeah, good. And and continuing with the 60 gigahertz radar. So we already have, uh, we have two main products. One of them is called the non AIP or, uh, or the non antenna in package where you have uh, the, the radar sensor, but then you have to have uh, antennas on a PCB. This is already, this kind of a product is already in mass production and is ready for uh, uh, um, an SOP for, uh, for any tier one or an OEM. On top of that, what we also felt to make it more and more compact and easy to use and faster time to market. So for our customers, we have developed uh, an antenna and package version of this chip. So this is under development. We do have uh, samples available for early engineering samples, let's say like this, available for key customers. And we are going ahead with this, uh, with the development of uh, antenna and package variant of the 60 gigahertz radar. I want to encourage all of our viewers to visit the Infineon website for more information. That's infineon.com. We've covered this in so many words, but uh, allow me just to ask the question a little more succinctly, a little more directly. Why should companies work with Infineon and why should they meet you and talk with you at InCabin in Brussels? What sets you apart? 
Thank you. Yeah, so exactly. I mean, this is the, if you follow the storyline from my uh, colleague from Martin and myself as well. So what Infineon offers is kind of a one stop shop solution, right? So we have complementary technologies based on the 2D, 3D DOF sensor or camera based, and then moving towards occupant monitoring with the 60 gigahertz radar. So we are Infineon has a long history in the automotive domain. We have several uh, uh, devices, several uh, applications that we are serving since many, many years. So we have the, um, let's say, the, the background and the expertise to serve the automotive market. We are the number one semiconductor company in many of the domains in the automotive market. And, and of course, uh, with this complementary uh, top plus radar technology uh, it, it offered in one place, and uh, this is definitely going in the right direction for us. And uh, in order even to uh, you know, support our customers even better, we are teaming up and we have teamed up with the excellent software algorithm partners where we use Infineon hardware and the software from the partner ecosystem and then create the whole um, uh, you know, a hardware plus software complete full solution, which is then offered to the customers. So it's really uh, taking care of all the needs of the customers really under one roof. And therefore, I think Infineon is definitely uh, for Incabin the best company right now uh, doing all of this want to encourage all of our viewers to visit infinion.com and to meet with Martin and Samir in person at InCabin in Brussels. want to thank both of you for your time and for your expertise, for sharing your slides and your wonderful presentation. Uh, look forward to meeting you both in Brussels and thank you for being with us today, both of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. For more in-depth interviews like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on LinkedIn. For more information on our world-class events and technical training, visit auto-sense.com forward slash in cabin. That's auto-sense.com forward slash in cabin. Ahead of meeting in Brussels and on behalf of in cabin, I'm Carl Anthony.